<laughs> All right, welcome back. Hello again. Um, today we're going to re review uh, a movie that we saw, The Beast. Uh -huh, the Beast, yep, that was, we saw that today. Yeah, starring uh, Idris Elba and Charlotte Copley. Yep. Right? That's his name. I think so. Um, and then uh, t while we're reviewing it, um, we're also going to talk about Malibu Splash, Pineapple Coconut. Should make sure you the past. Yeah. We're going to try this. So um, drink that and we're going to talk a little bit about the movie. Um, we have a rule that we can't talk about the movie at all. Which is really hard, by the way. Until we get uh, home yeah. and turn on the camera. So, right. Which is very hard because we see movies a lot and we have to talk about them. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, because I can't count the number of times that I said uh, that I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. So what'd you say? What'd you think? Yeah, me too. Ugh. All right, let's try this. Malibu, Splash, Pineapple, and Coconut. Pineapple and Coconut. Cheers. Cheers. It's kind of lighter than I thought it would be. Yeah, that'd be more heavy, but yeah. it's really not. It's kind of light and... Yeah, I mean... Splash. Splash. Did you say splash? So it's almost like, I feel like it's almost like their version of a, um, of a, uh, Seltzer. Seltzer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or hard seltzer, or whatever oh, yeah, you want to call it. Seltzer. Enjoy Splash of Summer with a refreshing taste and fruity flavor from Malibu. Um, sip, sassy, enjoy. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about seltzer, but it does It does taste kind of light. Sparkling malt beverage with natural flavors. It's yummy. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, Beast. Let's talk about it. Okay. What did you think? Um, okay, so I liked it some. Like, um, I had some good scare. I jumped because I'm a chicken. Um, so I will jump a couple, I jumped a couple times, two or three. I think I got, got me pretty good. Um, I just didn't like the ending. Yeah. I felt it was very anticlimactic at the very end. Like, it was really good, and then, and then it ended, and it was weird. I thought yeah. it was weird. I mean, I felt like that the pacing was probably about right, because I think if yeah. it would have went slower, I probably would have gotten bored. Well, yeah, it was a little, a little bit slow, a little bit at the beginning. After there, there's a thing to bring you in at the very beginning, but then it got a little slower. Yeah. Felt like that maybe, like, a lot of the times when I see a movie, I feel like that there should be, like, a um, another side story, and I feel like the side story in this really didn't connect <laughs> anywhere, <coughs> other than... A motivation to keep going type of thing um, without giving it out too much away but I felt like that maybe it, this was one that needed a better side story yeah, because the story is, yeah I, I and I get like it feels like they're trying to do like to some respect a Jaws with a lion right so I kind of felt okay for me for the the lion the beast um, was a mix of like, I could see, like, a dog, a bear, and a lion kind of mixed into one. Yeah, like, at one point, I almost started thinking of The Revenant a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's, I'm like, okay, I get it that it's supposed to be this lion, and it is terrifying, um, but it, for some reason, a couple times when they showed it, I kept thinking about a dog. Yeah, a yeah. A little bit, but then also, like, a bear. Yeah. And so that's why I'm like, that's, that's my thing, is that's what I kept thinking about when it was on screen a lot. Yeah, I expected, plus I, I don't know, um, I expected there to be, like, some kind of other underlying thing with it, but there really? wasn't, no. and which made me wonder if it was based on a true story, but there's never anything in it that says, like, this is based on true events, or yeah. it just happens to be a story that's kind of scary with a lion involved, and, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I just really didn't like, care for the ending, like, I was so... The whole pacing, the whole story, the okay, I had a little slow part, but it was really good until that very end, and I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah the, the very end also, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get how, like, that was, I mean, I see what they were trying to do. Yeah. But. I felt like it was unresolved, part of it. A lot of, yeah. It, a lot of it was, like, unresolved, I'm like, okay, okay. <coughs> <coughs> they don't really explain parts of it, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. So, um, out of ten, what, how, how do we rate it? Ten ghosts. <laughs> ten, oh yes, ten ghosts. Ten ghosts. In 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 you know in uh, respect to our favorite Great. energy drink. Yes. Which seems to be catching on. P.S. By the way, if you ever buy one, they're the only can where you, I you can feel the seam. Right. On on the can, like any other can that I've ever had, you can't feel the seam. You can see it, 
Yeah, but you can't fill it. But whoever these guys' canning company is, it, it's just weird. Like, I've even had uh, um, cashiers. Like, if I check out through a cashier instead of self-checkout, they'll be like, oh, that, that's a weird can. Yeah. So, but it's a great drink. Okay, for me, it was, I'm going to give it six and a half. Ghosts, Ghosts out of ten? Out of ten. Yeah, I, I would give it, um, for me, it was actually four. Four out of ten. Okay. I don't want to, I don't think I want to sit through it again. It was cool to see as it was. I would because I like the main actor guy. Idris. Idris. Oh my gosh, I love him. Yeah. So I'd sit through it again, but um, yeah, six and a half for me. Yeah. Four. All right. All right. That's our review. Come back next time. See you later. Bye.